Welcome to this DCS tanker tutorial. Start by going through which aircraft you could use as a tanker. There are a few. Your choices are the IL-78M with basket, the KC-135, which is boom, KC-130, which is a basket, KC-135 MPRS, which is also a basket. And the KC-135 MPRS also has a boom, but it's not currently doing both in DCS. You also have the S-3B tanker. For ease, we were going to pick the KC-135 MPRS, place it down, we'll set our attitude at 15,000 feet. We'll go with a speed of Mark 0.5. Uh, just bear in mind that whatever speed you set here, it probably won't do that speed in the actual game. So you might have to play about with it. It's a fun DCSism. Add a waypoint. We'll add one close to the aircraft and another one a little bit further away. You'll see waypoint one. Takes 26 seconds to get from the start spawn to waypoint one, which is when it will start doing its refueling. And waypoint two is about seven minutes. So it's going to fly in the straight line for seven minutes. That should be long enough to hook up and get your fuel. We'll see. You can always move waypoint two closer or further away. With waypoint one selected, we're going to go advanced waypoint actions, add, perform task, orbit. The pattern we want is racetrack, which means it will go from one waypoint the next, turn around, go back, turn around, go back. We're then going to match our speeds up. So 316 at 15,000. Other things to consider are the frequency that your tanker is transmitting on, which we set in here. The call sign for the tanker, that you know which one you're talking to. It will always give you the one that's closest to you when you're in game. And if you want to navigate to the tanker, you might want to set up TACAN. So you'll have waypoint zero. You'll see it's already put in the TACAN here, but that's not working. Double click it. You can name it if you want to. You don't need to. Channel mode. Well, air to air tends to be Yankee. Channel, it will do whatever we want. So I'll just say 22 Yankee. TKR is the call sign that you'll see. If you're in the Hornet, for example, you'll see TKR on the right. Because this is Texaco, I'm just going to put TEX so that if I was flying, I know which one's which. Link unit is, this is the important bit to make it work. You simply select the unit name of your tanker and now the TACAN will work. And that's it. You got a working tanker. Hope you found this useful. If you did, then please consider liking, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.